You're watching KOCO5. Live, local, late breaking. This is KOCO5 News at 5 o'clock in high definition. Off the top at 5, a disgraced former Oklahoma City police officer fighting to get back on the force. Good afternoon. I'm Paul Fold. I'm Jessica Shambach. Daniel Holtzclaw was fired over accusations of raping women while on patrol. KOCO's Kim pass off with his fight for work. It's new at 5. It angers us. The Oklahoma City Police Department wants to distance itself from former officer Daniel Holtzclaw. It taints all of us, and, they, and officers know that, and they take it very personally. But Holtzclaw still wants to be on the force, appealing his termination to the fraternal order of police. If an officer feels like it's done unjustly or unfairly, too severe, uh, there's a process where they will come to the FOP and grieve that discipline. Yesterday, a committee met at the FOP reviewing the facts that led to his dismissal. Investigators say Holtzclaw targeted women on the city's northeast side and used his position of power to take advantage of them. Based on what we heard, we felt that there was enough uh, reason uh, to sustain the department's decision of termination. Right now, Holtzclaw is on house arrest while awaiting trial. If he's found not guilty, could he one day be an officer again? I can't speak of all the other recourse that's available through the legal system, um, but as far as the FOP is concerned, we've made a decision. And we reached out to Holtzclaw's attorney. He did not return our phone calls. Holtzclaw's next court appearance is set for one month from now. Reporting live at the courthouse, Kim Passoff, KOCO, 5 News.